the water is like yellowy so there's just all these like things that get stuck throughout the machine so make sure you keep it nice and clean every so often hey guys welcome back to my channel so on today's video i decided to do a quick cleaning of my machine i regret not doing this with my virtuo next i'm not saying that's why it broke i think that model specifically has some issues that they're dealing with but i think it's a good idea to keep your machine clean so that's what i'm gonna show you guys today let's get started so usually what i do when my machine gets full with the pads that's usually when i have been cleaning it it sounds kind of like overkill but really it isn't especially if you drink coffee a lot usually it fills up i think 20 pods if i'm not mistaken in that little container 20 cups of coffee i think that's about the time that you need to clean your like machine so we're gonna do that today it's super super easy all you need is a huge container for water to collect and that's pretty much all you need all right so this is usually the container that i like to use it's a four cup um pyrex thing but something that's big enough to hold the water because usually it'll have you fill up the tank so that's what we're gonna do right now we're gonna fill up the tank whatever container is big enough to hold most of that i don't think it empties the whole tank out but you get the gist get you guys a little closer all right so what you're gonna do is fill up this tank all the way up like i said i don't think it empties out the whole tank but you know you don't want to fill it up here and then it needs more water to clean it out so if you want to get a full cleaning just fill it all the way up I forgot to mention I always do filtered water through it. Even though it's a cleaning, I make sure it's filtered water, so make sure it's filtered water. Okay, so once your water is full, what you're gonna do is empty out this little container that collects the pots. So next, you're going to press this button three times. And it's going to turn to orange. I don't know if you guys can tell. That starts the cleaning mode. So now you just got to let it run. I think it takes about five minutes till it's done. Like you saw in the last clip, as soon as the machine like light on the top goes green, then you're good to go. It's been cleaned. You have nothing to worry about. So just wanted to show you guys why you need to clean it because there's obviously, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's coffee grounds at the very bottom that are stuck in the needles that you need to clear out, especially if your like container is full. I think that's a good time, like I said, to clean the machine. The water is like yellowy, so there's just all these like things that get stuck throughout the machine. So make sure you keep it nice and clean every so often. Again, that's something I feel like I should have kept up with my Virtuo next. And I don't know, who knows if maybe if I kept it that clean, maybe it wouldn't have broken on me. But yeah, with this machine, since I absolutely love it a lot more than the next, actually, I'm just going to keep it up. As soon as that container in the back gets full, then that's going to be my cue. The whole thing takes about five to seven minutes. I'm not even joking. Another benefit, actually, of cleaning your machine is that your coffee tastes a lot better. If you notice that your coffee is a bit bitter or it's like not brewing the same, that's another sign, a huge sign that it needs to be cleaned. So let this be your reminder, clean your machines. And yeah, I think that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.